What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with a Creality goodie box. So Creality has been nice enough to send this care package over. We are going to dive into it. It is the Creality Falcon 2 40 watt laser. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's see what we got. So we got the 40 watt Falcon 2 laser. We have some Falcon extension risers. We have the enclosure kit. We also got two of the Creality boxes. So one of them is going to be basswood sheets. One of them is acrylic sheets. And then this back here is also the stand that goes under the laser to protect anything on top of your surface. So we are gonna get the Creality box opened up. Let's get this laser out and see what we got. Opening up the box here, it's going to come packaged very nicely, just like all Creality. If you guys are into 3D printing, then you know how they come packaged up. So we'll remove this foam here, and we have all of our parts to assemble the laser. So now most of it is already assembled. You just have your, your legs and little goodie package. So we're going to go over roughly. We're not going to do a step-by-step -step of assembly, but we're going to go over assembling. So let's get this all out of the box. We have everything all out, unpackaged, and laid out here. So you got a lot of your baggie with little brush, some plywood pieces for testing, USB cable, some stanchions. You also get your laser goggles, so make sure you use these when using the laser. You got some rubber stand feet. You got all these screws and accessories that you need. You got your air pump, power transformer, and of course the laser. It is a direct laser, 40 watt, so we should be able to cut a lot of stuff with that. And then of course the frame for the laser, which is all assembled. This hose is for your air assist. Then you have your quick start guide, some stickers, and a operation guide here. So I would recommend reading through your quick start guide. So we're going to start assembling and see what it looks like. So we got the laser together. It took not long at all everything it just screws in you put your feet on the bottom i'm using the extended feet these are the ones they come with and then they also give you even more extension on the feet so you can set it to your height on however you like i got the extended feet from creality to raise it way up off the ground and i'm also using the honeycomb cut plate that you can get from creality now they do include this aluminum tray that you can put under your workpiece. If you don't want to go with the honeycomb, that is up to you, but this is an option. I, I wanted the honeycomb. Now the laser itself just plugs right into this box here. Then you have your airline that runs up into the top. You remove this plug, plug it in. It's simple. There's two thumb screws on the side that you can adjust the up and down height of the laser. Now there is a cool little feature here with a key that you get. So if you guys have kids or you don't want kids to accidentally turn the laser on because they are dangerous, you can actually turn the laser off here and it will not work even if it's plugged in. So that is a cool little feature that Creality created. Now, they give you some test wood. They give you this little guy right here. This is a height gauge. So what you would do is you would go, so we're gonna be cutting basswood so we are going to loosen this up slowly and we are going to get it to our cut height which is about right there and then we are going to tighten our thumb screws back up and then that way we are at the proper height and it has for engraving cutting or cutting and it also has the thickness of the wood so if you got six millimeter four millimeter so since this is one to three millimeter then we would actually have to loosen this up a little bit and we'd actually have to raise our laser to that height right there and then tighten our thumb screws back down. Very simple, very easy for quick adjusting on your material. So now you do, you will need light burn. So we are gonna grab the laptop, power this up and get on light burn. And we are going to figure out what we can cut. We're gonna make some cool stuff with this thing. Okay, so we got the laser powered up and my daughter actually was playing around and she created this really quick Creality Falcon 2. So we are gonna try to do an engrave and a cut. We're gonna mess with the speed settings, so we're gonna start it right now. Now we are going to send it on its way and start the engrave and cut process. Make sure you are not looking at the laser and you have your glasses on. 
Now it is going around, doing its cut. Right now it's cutting through the material and then it will start its end grade. Make sure that your air pump is up. And now it's cutting, it's cutting. The end grade will be faster than the cut. You can always up your speeds and everything like that. Make sure you're in a well ventilated area. It does put out a lot of smoke coming out of the wood. And always watch your engraving process so that way if a fire happens, you're right there. Don't just set it and forget it. Now it's doing its engraving. So it's just engraving now, engraving the cow out of the falcon part. Then it's going to come back through and it's going to do the box lines. It's almost done, and now it should be finished. So now, we should be able to take that out, and here, we can turn our pump down, and there it is, Creality Falcon 2. So that's pretty cool, it's something quick you can do, so now let's do something else and do some actual like cutting of balsa wood and stuff like that. We got some ribs that I designed up for an airplane project. We've got some balsa wood into the laser machine. So now we are going to come over here. You're going to hit start and it's going to send the laser on its way to cut. We have our air assist all the way up and we're going to watch it. Just cut them right through this, no problem. Hard to get a good video and the laser is cutting in the way, but we're cutting right through the bottom wood. With precision, we have our air assist nozzle here, all the way up to our air pump here. Then make sure you have your green glasses on. And we're going to let it cut all the way through. So far, it's looking like clean cut. The balsa wood doesn't smell nowhere near as bad as the hardwood. Those ribs out nice. The nice thing about laser cutting is you can cut all your own kits and precision parts. These are the glasses you need to be wearing so you can see what I see. Make sure you have your safety glasses on and you're not looking at that laser. We're almost done cutting all of our parts out now. Got about 1% left. It should be done in a second. And they even put the cut tab into the wood so they don't fall out. And you can cut as much. This bed is 20 by 23 inches, so you can cut a big surface. I have my glasses back on. And we'll be able to pop all of our ribs out and we'll have a nice laser cut rib. Reality is doing a great job at this, and now we are done. So now we can pull our balsa wood out, and our parts aren't going to fall off, but then we just have to break these little tabs. So we'll take an exacto knife and cut those tabs loose and pop all of our ribs out. These ribs are tiny. As you can see, we started cutting all the tabs, and all I had to do is just take an exacto knife and then just trim right through that tab. Then come right here, trim right through that tab, and my ribs are out. And as you can see, the laser cut beautifully through it. No burning through the wood, no catching the wood on fire. So that is a really nice cut laser rib. So now there's a ton more parts to cut to create the kit.
but all these will interlock into the sheeting of the wing that we have to cut and then we can have an airplane kit. So now we are gonna design something for my wife and cut a frame for her. So I just designed this circle. This is gonna be a two part cut. So this is going to be a trim border and then there's gonna be just a solid cut piece. We are using three millimeter plywood. It's 11.46 by 11.21 inches in diameter. We are cutting at 100 millimeters a second with a max speed of 100% and a minimum speed of 20%. So we got our plywood that came with Creality. So this is their really nice basswood, very nice pieces, 300 by 300 millimeters, which is about 12 by 12. And we are going to cut and see how this comes out. Cut just got done. This is a picture frame for my wife that she's doing. So this will be the border. And then we're gonna come back, delete this inside line right there. And then we're just gonna cut an outside pattern. So we're gonna take this off the table. We're gonna flip it over to the other side to utilize all the wood that we can utilize and then create the bottom half. We just got done cutting the outer ring. So this is the inner ring, or this is the outer ring and that's the base plate. So we're going to pop it out. So that cut beautifully. I'm gonna slide this guy out. So there's the ring. I didn't have it, I had it too far. That's one thing that you have to learn with a laser is where to position your wood. It can be a little tricky. I've had my trial and errors, but this piece now is going to fit on top of here. And that'll get glued together. And then my wife is gonna put her thing in the middle of it. We're gonna stain it. So now she has a bordered little picture frame so you could do a lot of cool things with the laser so let's try a piece of acrylic and see what it will do we just did a simple circle with west hobbies rc we have i think is green acrylic not 100 percent sure it's either green or yellow but we're going to try to cut it out of acrylic and engrave the west hobbies rc so we changed the color to red so let's hit start and see what it does so we're doing the cut now come back in and engrave in the middle. It smells like a nail slide. Now we're engraving. We are done now with our acrylic. I'm a little worried that I did too close and not enough passes, but we can peel the paper off now. So we cut this little thing out. We're gonna peel the paper, see how clean it looks. And if we have to redo it, we're just playing, learning settings, and it's all part of laser. This is how it turned out. Now, of course I'm learning and playing. So I could have did the letters, engraved them like bold, made them bigger. I could have done deeper on the engraving, but it does cut acrylic very nicely. And you can see through the light here, it all came out looking pretty good. So it'll cut and do anything you want on this Creality Falcon 2. So I'm gonna end this video off here. I hope this has helped some of you showcase what this machine can do. For a tabletop laser, it is awesome. It comes with everything you need, air pump assist, laser right direct over there. If you can up and down on, you have so much adjustability that you can raise this up even more. I also have the rotisserie for doing cups and stuff. I just don't have any cups to try it with, but you can have rotisseries. Check it out in the description below. There will be a link to this machine down there. And if you guys are looking at getting a laser for craft use, for RC, if you're, if you're into building kits or parts for your airplanes or helicopters, this is a great tool to have. I know I will be getting a lot of use out of this thing. So huge shout out to Creality for sending this over to me for us to use on the channel. It will be used a lot more in the future. 
So thank you, Creality. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this video, hitting that like button. If you want to know more about it, check it out in the description below. There will be a link. If you're thinking about purchasing this machine, use the link in the description below. It helped me out. No extra cost to you. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and have a great day.